close that first quarter was uh, 13 to five. So they took that six point lead going into the second. Uh, and then our starting group uh, to close that half, I think they allowed a 28 to seven run. Um, and, and for me, it appeared just kind of like we just kind of gave in and quit. And that's why I, I didn't want to reward that behavior by starting that group in that third quarter. I thought the uh, bench unit was at least going out there and competing and playing hard and fighting. Uh, and that's just, you know, that's just me, man. That's like my DNA. You know, if somebody's, you know, kicking our ass and we're fighting and competing and they're just better than us, so be it. And they're a very good team. Um, but if, you know, we're, we're getting our butts kicked and we're just taking it, possession after possession, heads are dropped, body language, giving in, uh, I, I'm not going to reward that behavior. I, I just, you know, there, there, there's principles in life, and that goes against every principle uh, inside my body. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's definitely disappointing. I mean, I think we're uh, two and four in our last six games now. Um, not not even close to playing uh, the quality of basketball we're capable of. Um, at least in Cleveland, you know, we 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 did some really good things and had chances, but the turnovers and the rebounds kind of made the difference. Uh, tonight, I I can't point to one thing we did well. You know, and that that's that's a sad thing to say after a forty eight minute game that you can't say, well, we did this well. Um, they had nineteen threes. Um, you know, they they didn't feel us, and again. Um, I thought the group that started the third, they went out there and at least, you know, competed, played hard, you know, tough to sustain that, went back to the starters. And I think we cut it to, I don't know, 13 or 15 that fourth quarter. And, you know, just, I don't know, that, like I said, that game was over at halftime tonight. And uh, just, just really disappointed. And to your point, with 10 games to go, um, you know, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what are we trying to do? So, um, it doesn't get any easier. You know, I mean, the Clippers, uh, big game coming up, Phoenix, uh, OKC, a team that we have a really hard time playing against. So uh, we're going to see what we're made of. You know, we're going to see uh, it's going to be a really uh, great opportunity to look within this team and to see what we're made up as individuals and then as well as collectively. Yeah, I, I can't explain it. I really don't have a, a readily available uh, reason as to why. Um, but I told him at halftime, you know, you're lucky that this was a Celtics home game because the boo, if it wasn't, the boos would have been, rightfully so, really, really loud. Um, but, you know, the, all the cheering and MVP chants for the Celtics kind of drowned those boos out. Um, but I, I don't know. I really don't know, Katie. It was... Um, I think some guys maybe are in their own heads and their own feelings, uh, worried about themselves right now. And uh, it's never about the individual. You know, selfless, being selfless is a big part of our culture. Get over yourself. It's about the collective good and the team. And uh, so, yeah, really disappointing. And uh, we'll see what we can do coming up against the Clippers. All right. Appreciate it, everybody.